Hello everyone. With breeding season being here now, I've been getting a few questions recently on how to candle your eggs. And so what I'm going to show you today is how to candle chucker eggs. But the same uh, process will apply to all eggs. Chicken eggs, turkey eggs, quail eggs, whatever, you, whatever kind you have. And so basically I've got two eggs I'm going to show you. One that hasn't been incubated yet and one that has been incubated for about seven days. If it's your first time candling eggs, I'd say it's best to wait till about seven days or so. That way you can clearly see whether they're fertile or not. And you won't have any questions at all of whether they are. And there's two methods you can use, or many methods you can use, but I'll show you two of the most common. One is to use a cell phone, your uh, light that's on there. And if you have a case on there, it actually has a little perfect little slot that'll set the egg on there, and it'll hold it in place and block out most of the light to where the only light will be shining through the eggshell. Other method is to go ahead and cup your hand like this, hold the egg in there to block all the light around, and then you would use a light as any any similar flashlight, but in this case, I use a headlamp, and you hold it underneath the egg, and then that way, it'll shine the light through and as I said, you'll be able to see whether it's fertile or not. So, first things first, we're going to go ahead and cut the light off and show you how it's done. As you see in this egg, it is uh, pretty clear for the most part. There's a little dark shadow there. That's where the yolk is inside the egg. And this is what a f egg that's not fertile will look like or an egg that you haven't even started incubating yet. Now, and now if you look closely at this egg right here, you can see the veins running through it. Uh, that's how you can tell you have a fertile egg there. Up here on the small end of the egg is where the air pocket is. As the chick continues to grow, that air pocket will get smaller and smaller and eventually the egg is going to become dark and you won't be able to see through it, period. And if you look real close, if you pay attention to where all these veins run to, it's going to be hard for you to see on the camera. but you can actually see the heart and see the heart beating and I always thought that was pretty cool but I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions or comments still you can feel free to post them in the comments section and I'll get, them back, get back to you as soon as I can hope this helped you and good luck with your breeding season